Hi and welcome to the section Feature Detection and Object Tracking using OpenCV3. Let's have a glance at what we'll learn in this section. In this section, we'll learn how to implement Harris Corner Detection to find corners in an image. And we'll also compare our algorithm with the OpenCV3 version. We'll also see how SIFT, SURF, FAST, BRIEF and ORB algorithms can be used to extract features by looking at examples. We'll then check on different methods for feature matching and how they can be used to match known objects in complex images. We next see the implementation details. Next, we'll learn about various important video analysis techniques like main shift tracking, cam shift tracking, and we'll also explore the Lucas Canada method for producing dense optical flow. We'll then see how you can train a Cognet like Linet5 to learn various image features to classify numbers or images. And finally, we'll learn how you can perform visual object recognition, scene understanding and automatic labeling from images. Let's have a look at how we can detect corners in an image. In this video, we start with getting introduced to key point feature detectors and descriptors. We then have a look at the implementation of the Harris corner detector from scratch with an example. We'll also see a modification of the Harris corner detection method and how they differ. And as we conclude, we'll see an OpenCV library implementation for finding corners in an image and also compare the performance with our implementation. Let's now see what corners and key points in an image are. While corners are a region in an image with large variation in the intensity in all the directions, whereas a key point is an extension of the same concept of that of a corner in an image, except that in case of key points, the local information is encoded in such a way that the key points are highly recognizable between different images. Key points and descriptor together define a feature. We'll next learn about a method to detect corners in an image known as the Harris Corner Detector and we'll also attempt to build it from scratch and compare our implementation with that of the OpenCV library. The mathematical definition of the Harris Corner Detection as we see in the original paper basically finds the difference in the intensity for a displacement of UV in all directions, where UV being the image pixel values. The image is expressed as a function of the window function, shifted intensity and intensity values. Based on the corner response score matrix and the eigenvalues of M, we are able to classify a region as flat, edge or a corner. Let's now see how we can implement Harris corner detection from scratch to detect corners in an image. For this, we have created a function called find corners to get the corners in an input image. The function takes an input image, a window size which defaults to 5, a Harris corner constant value k which is used to calculate the response score. And finally, we specify a threshold value so that any corner response over this threshold value will be considered a corner. Certain lines of the function find corners are missing. Let's implement them. As a first step, we will like to find the gradient in the x and y directions. We have several options for this. We could use the Sobel filter or also use the gradient function of the NumPy library. In this case, we will be using the gradient function in the NumPy library. The gradient function takes the input image as the only argument. Now that we have the gradient in the x and y directions, we will like to calculate the intensity parameters ixx, iyy and ixy as per the research paper. So ixx will be dx raised to the power 2. And similarly, iyy as we have guessed it would be dy raised to the power 2. And ixy will be the product of dx and dy. And now that we have the values for ixx, iyy and ixy, we'll next calculate the sum of the squares. We can use the sum function to get the sum of the above windows. syy is window iyy.sum. And x x y equal to window i x y dot sum. Now that we have the sum of the window sizes, we'll next calculate the determinant, the trace, and finally the corner response matrix. To get the determinant value, we'll calculate the determinant of the matrix M as per the formula. Next, to get the value of the trace, we'll add s x x with s y y. And finally, we'll calculate the corner response function, which is 
the determinant minus k into the trace raised to the power of 2. And now that we have the corner response function, we will now color every pixel in the image that has the value in R greater than the threshold value. Let's see the output of the following program. Here is the output of our custom Harris corner detection function. You can play with the value of the threshold and also k to get optimal results. We'll next learn about another corner detector known as the Xi, C corner detector which shows better results than the Harris corner detector. Let's see why. Let's now see how we can use the OpenCV implementation of the Harris Xi Thomas C feature detector to find corners in an image. We'll be using the cv2.goodfeatures2track function to find the corners. Now let's see an example of how we can use the Harris C Thomas C feature detector to detect corners in an image. And as you have just read, we can use the function goodfeatures2track to get the corners in the Harris C Thomas C feature detector. Let's now call this function. The function good features to track takes a single channel image for which we pass the value gray and then it takes the maximum corners that you want to detect. For that we set the value 25 and next it takes the quality level. For this we set the value as 0.01, a double and next we set the minimum distance for which a patch has to be considered a corner and for this we set the value 10. Now we will get the corners based on the Harry C. Thomas C. feature detector. Since these values actually map to pixels in an image which are integers. We need to round off these values. Now we have corners that have been round off to integer. Let's see the output of this program. So here is the output of the other program and as you have set the number of corners as 25, we will get exactly 25 corners in the output. As the output was barely visible, I've just zoomed it using the zoom function in the matplotlib and as you can see the red dots were the corners that were detected. Next we will see how we can use the OpenCV implementation of the Harris corner detection to find the corners in an image. We will use the OpenCV function corner Harris to detect the corners in an image and we will further refine our corner detector by using the function corner subpix which can be used to detect corners at a subpixel accuracy. For this we calculate the centroid of the corner patches using the function connected components with sats. Now let's see an example of finding corners using OpenCV function corner Harris and corner sub bix. Even here, like the earlier example, we'll be using the corner Harris function to find corners in the image. But for sub pixel accuracy, we'll call the function corner sub bix. And for a better accuracy, we'll be passing the centroid of the corner patches. Hence, before we call the function corner sub bix, we'll call the function connected components with stats with the input image. This function returns a return value, labels, stats and the centroids accordingly. Next, we will call the function corner sub bix. This function takes the grayscale image followed by the centroids, we just mask it to floating point. Followed by window size, we set it to 5 in each direction and then it expects the value for zero zone, which is used to correct the singularities resulting from the autocorrect matrix. We set it to minus minus. And finally, we set the terminal criteria which is already defined. Now let's run the code and get the corners with a subpixel accuracy. And as you can see, due to subpixel accuracy, the algorithm can exactly find the tip of every edge of the leaf.